So in the previous section, we were looking at differentiating inverse trig. And in this section, we are going to be integrating to arrive at inverse trig. OK, so what I first of all want to look at is the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared dx. Now we know what it should be. We know what the answer should be. OK, because we know that arc sine x differentiates to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. So the answer should be arc sine x plus c. OK. However, you might also be thinking, well, uh, actually, this integrates to arc cosine x. So it could by, be all by all rights minus arc cosine x plus c. OK. So actually, either of those two results are perfectly fine. And to arrive at those results, it depends upon uh, the way that you integrate this. So we're going to use integration by substitution. Um, if you use x equals sine of u, which is the substitution I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to arrive at arc sine x plus c. If you use x equals cosine of u, you get to minus arc cosine of x plus c. Okay, And I'll leave you that one to try. But what you want to get through here is that you want to be looking at these integrals and recognising the format. So you want to be recognising, OK, well, if it's in this format, I'm going to be using a substitution involving sine. There's no point doing it with cosine if we can do all of these with sine. OK, we'll just keep the sine. And as we find, if they're in this format, we'll be able to use tan. OK. So let's stick with this one first. And first of all, you differentiate your substitution. dx by du is cosine of u. So then rearrange that to get dx. So dx is equal to cosine of u du. So we've got the replacement for dx. We've got the replacement for x. So this is equal to the integral of 1 over the square root of 1 take away sine squared u. OK, and the dx has been replaced with cosine of u du. So we've got the integral of, uh, now we've got the cosine u in the numerator. And 1 minus sine squared we know is cosine squared. And the square root of cosine squared is, of course, cosine of u. And so we've got the integral of 1 du, which is, e which is equal to u plus c. Now, if x is equal to sine of u, then u is equal to arc sine of x. We've got that plus c constant of integration. So we've arrived at what we expected to find. OK, so where this will be leading is we want to be eyeing up these integrals in this format and getting them into this format in order to use a similar substitution in order to integrate them.